We can end homelessness. The thing is, without public support, nothing happens. This is Mark. He's the founder and creator of Invisible People and has been giving a voice to the homeless for more than 10 years. Alexis. Yeah. You're 19. You're sleeping on the streets of Denver. We're here in Albuquerque. We're here in Philadelphia. We're here in Dallas. We're in Winnipeg, Canada. We are here in Boston. Here we are in San Diego. At a tent city. Mm -hmm. You're homeless. Tell me about it. Mark's YouTube page is filled with interviews that will break your heart, but there's also so many heartwarming stories of kindness. Human kindness, something we could all use a bit more of, don't you think? With the rise of social media, Mark has helped give a voice to so many who feel invisible. He said socks are like gold on the street, and he passes them out. Carlos wants socks. <laughs> Always. Thank you. Thank you. You guys need socks? I need socks? Hey bro, you need some socks? He'll start up a conversation with just about anyone. He's made connections, friendships, and now more than 900 video interviews over the past 10 years. I connected with Mark through social media and a creative group called No Small Creator. While Mark was in town, my friend Stacy and I spent an afternoon with him, meeting his friends on the streets of Venice, hearing their stories, and handing out socks. Hey everybody, I am out here in Venice with this is Jan, and that wow, that's a head collision. And I'm actually doing my first YouTube collab. Today, I'm asking Jan to go out and collab, and we're gonna walk around Venice and hand out socks and meet new homeless friends. Uh, I've never done this before. Okay. So, Really, this is your first, <laughs> my first time too. Oh my gosh, so uh, who knows how this is gonna turn out, but I do know we're gonna have fun. It's great, I'm excited. Good to see you, man. Yes sir, good to see you too. You call me pastor. Yes, pastor, you, 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 you give me good, good insights, you know? But I'm not a pastor. But you have good insights for us, and you come with the soul of a homeless man, and, and it, it tells us a lot, you know, because you have feelings for him. And that's that's what we, we, we love about you, you know. You give us that, you all matter, you know, regardless. Because you do matter. Yes, we do. And and we thank you guys. We, we really do believe that, you know, because just to, to, to share, it helps. You know, it, it makes it easier. You know, don't think we, we, we can't do better. At the moment, we playing the cards that we was dealt. And you know, we just ain't complaining, yeah. you know? You guys need socks? Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. My last packet of socks. Uh oh. <laughs> Do you want any socks? doing the socks. Oh, yeah. Today. I got an assistant. I got right on. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. When you're mobile homeless and mobile homeless is growing, the it's biggest huge. challenge is finding a safe place to park. Yeah, that's not just Walmart. Yeah, that's not just Walmart. Yeah. yeah. You know, because everybody walks by so obliviously to everything. Yeah. And, you know, they walk past me when I say, look, dude, I got food. The dog needs food. Please help. And they will just go and carry about their way. And, you know, I, I got to wonder, like, is there any introspection? Here? Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Like, really God bless you. This is trash. Tracks? Yeah, like railroad tracks. Yeah, great. Uh, what was your name? Chris. Chris? Nice to meet you. Nice talking to you. Very nice to meet you, Stacy. Nice to meet you. Jan. The only reason I would say that I'm here is because I had a gambling problem. Because I got excessive with with my money, you know. Because I had this, had that. I was like, oh, well, let's go gambling. Let's try something else. And, and it went the wrong way. Yeah. Out here is a real person, a real human. Right. And it's just that they're misunderstood more than understood. I agree. Most people are just misunderstood. Yeah. Today has been a blast. First time I've ever held what is a vlogging rig, you know, with the Gorilla the, Pod the and the camera. And the, and the little dead cat. You've done great. Yeah. It was really great meeting you guys. And now turned camera person it was amazing at socks did you have fun doing socks i had the best day ever really so much fun you were amazing at giving out socks over, a natural over 65 pairs 
over 65 pairs. And that means over 65 homeless people. Exactly. It's amazing what you're doing. And well, thank you. Can you can just see the love from everyone that you're running into. I mean, seriously, it's, it's so genuine and just more people. You guys gotta watch all of his vid videos, binge watch, because they're so moving and I think you're gonna wanna get out into your own communities and do good work, because that's what you're doing. You're doing good work. What did you learn today about homelessness? Ooh. Well, they're just people like you and me that anyone could be homeless quite quickly and the empathy on the streets is incredible and just they're so thankful for the little gifts of kindness. Like just giving somebody a pair of socks means so much to them and just talking to them because they're people, they have feelings, they have emotions and for us just going up and saying hi and asking them their name, something simple as that, it's huge. Well, they have become family to me. Yeah, I can see why. And and they love you. I mean, they love what you're doing and like the one guy who calls you the preacher, yeah. <laughs> which is so awesome. I love him. You know, there's, there's just so many interesting people out here. I think um, as a society, we need to stop being afraid of them because, you know, there are maybe some bad people out there, but there's bad people in every sector. It's not just homelessness. I mean, what did you learn about collaboration? Collabs. Sorry, I did the old <laughs> old man collaboration. Okay. Uh, collabing on YouTube. Uh, it's not as scary talking in public when you have somebody else talking in public, carrying a camera, and I'm sure there's yeah. going to be lots of people in our shots when we're like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of fun. But it was fun. Yeah. I had a great time. This is awesome, and I'm glad my friend Stacy was so game to come up with us and be our, our camera person, our sock hander outer, and just, you know. Sock hander outer. you got to wave again, though. <laughs> I'm always, I don't, uh, as looking, lens. yeah. Get okay, yeah, I, me I messed up. It's hard when you got the We're not reshooting. See, see, that's the good thing with not having a flip out screen. Yeah. That's the better thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, you sold you me on that. And we're not redoing doing this one. Yeah. Anyways, thanks everybody. Okay. I'll see you. Bye. Thank you for coming out. It was super fun. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. That was an awesome day. So stay in the middle two lanes. <laughs> okay. Collabing with uh, Mark and uh, my friend Stacy came along. Uh, really impactful. What he's doing is so amazing, and I can't wait to share all this footage with you guys. Oh, am I supposed to go on Lincoln or Marina Freeway? Uh oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs>